All right, uh, the post office uh, guy came today. Mailman, I guess. Uh, and I got some 8080 microprocessors. Yay. So we can try one out. This is an all plastic, uh, all plastic chip. Uh, I would guess it was made in 1984. 8449, so 49th week of 84. Um, so let's... Uh, Let's uh, bend the lead straight. Uh, that's pretty good. I'll pop that in and we'll turn the power on and uh, see if it works. Let's see here. Uh, legs aren't aren't straight enough. So we still have our program in here to flash the LED. So that should still run. Oh man, these legs need to bend to you. Even more, it's hard to bend 40, 40 pin legs. All right, we're getting close. Oh, come on. Huh? It's still not going. Wow. Uh, bend it on something harder. Oh man, these guys are I'm serious about their lead frames. They are tough. All right. There we go. Got it in. That looks like it went in. That's all right. Okay, let me run over to the power supply here. And turn the power on. Call. Ah, the LED is on. And it's on solid. And if we remember, uh, it was flashing. Um, so fast that it just stayed on. So I claim that we're up and running again here. Let's, uh, let's uh, see if we can't if you can see that. I have a good way of holding the uh, logic dart so you can really see it well, but see if we can't find any exciting things to probe. Okay. Uh, yeah. That's one of the data lines. You can see it flashing there. So, I would say we're up and running just fine. Up and running just fine. So, uh, that was the one thing I got in the mail, was the microprocessor, so we're now back at ground zero. And I can start developing, uh, developing more things to play with. But, the other thing that I got in the mail was this. Um, these, uh, these little supplies go for 20 bucks, like, all day long. And uh, you can get them in all different voltages and all different uh, configurations. This was the triple output power supply, and it's still only $20. This one is plus 5, plus 12, and minus 12, so everything I need for this board. So I will hardwire this on, so no longer will I need these uh, uh, clip blades, and no longer will I be in damage of applying 24 volts to it, now that I have it up and running again. Uh, fingers crossed. Um, so that will be the next thing I add, and uh, maybe add a power switch to it, so it will be easy to turn on and off. And we'll be up and going up and going again, so success. 
Okay, uh, just a recap of what we've done so far now that I've finally got it up and running again. Um, we are talking to this output port which is D6. D6 is a one-shot monostable so it fires this LED. Anytime you address port D6 it'll send a pulse, a negative pulse to this uh, LED and turn it on. And so we've written a program which is no op, then output to D6, and then jump back to zero. So it'll be outputting to D6 in this loop. And then if I go here to the uh, LED, and we'll take a look at that, uh, uh, we're getting negative going pulses uh, to the LED, and they are happening every 86 kilohertz. Um, so everything is operational. Uh, so far so good.